Welcome back to another FM Immortal video, guys. We are today going to be talking through five key dates that you need to bookmark in the FM23 calendar. And we are kicking off with the 31st of March, hereby known as Wonder Kids Day. So at the end of March every season, uh, the 31st, you should get an email in your inbox, uh, the NXGN 20 whatever it is, 50 best wonder kids in the world. Uh, and this is just another way that uh, FM can help you out uh, by pointing you in the direction of who the best wonder kids uh, are and where you might be able to actually afford them. Uh, the way you can do this, of course, is just by clicking into and scouting. Anyone that you see on this list but don't necessarily recognise is already at a huge club. Um, everyone will be familiar with Endrick, for example, the first and, uh, and best wonder kid in the world at the moment in my save and possibly in real life. Obviously, he's already at Real Madrid and has been for some time. Um, and he's worth uh, upwards of £170 million, pounds, uh, far beyond uh, any reasonable budget on this game and just completely out of the picture for me. Um, however, if I go through the rest of the list, I may see, I, I've already seen Rodrigo uh, and Amu McCarthy um, come through in uh, in voting um, on this uh, on this game. So I know that at Schalke and Vitesse, they're probably going to be worth, yeah, uh, 40 to 50 million pounds each, I'd imagine. Um, and uh, they're going to be out of my league as well. Um, however, Buzan I've not seen before. He's at Borussia Dortmund, so I'm going to give him a go. I, I've seen that his price is already out of reach, but his actual contract price isn't too bad. He may be someone that you'd be able to pick up on a loan, um, so don't just see this as uh, who can you bring in on transfer, but also at the start of next season, think about uh, who you might be able to bring in to pad out your team with loanees. Um, Braga at FC Porto B, so he's not in the first team yet. He might be more affordable. Um, he's a striker. We're looking for a striker, but um, ultimately, I don't. I'm not uh, enamoured with the, although masked, um, lower uh, physical attributes that this guy looks like he's carrying. So I'm not going to persist there. Uh, Liverpool um, have got Morales. I'm not going to be bothered with that. Uh, Iskander Safi at Trabzonspor. Now that is more of a. More of an achievable um, wonder kid, if ever I've seen one. Uh, I haven't got any details on the player, so he's going to be the first one that I click through to scout. He's on a low wage. He's at a, a smaller club. I think there's a chance there um, I might be able to bring him in, albeit um, defensive midfielder and, uh, and a grey kind of tackling somewhere between that range doesn't fill me with confidence. But let's see what the report comes back with in a few weeks. Uh, Brunker I've actually looked into in the past already, so I know he's not in uh, within reach. And Jimenez as well, Desio as well. But this is the thing that you need to uh, to realise on this email. It's not just showing you the top 10 um, for a short while that I won't uh, care to admit. I did think this was just about the who is the winner and who is the remainder of the top 10. But you can actually click through the whole 50 of them. <laughs> I hope that's not too much of a... Uh, announcement for you um but let's go through the rest then so uh, denier i'm familiar with at andelect um i don't think he's someone i want to persist with i believe that's a, um oh no it's a striker it's a different denier um he actually looks quite good but he's still probably on the pricier end of what i'm looking for um an advanced playmaker in van tornhout at uh standard liege um Looked quite good actually. Uh, Samoa at Man City. Man City are always a club that will say yes to a to a uh, a loan. I have found um, he's a very good wing back for his age. Very very strong uh, physically. Um, looks a, looks a real prospect in Clifford uh, striker. There we go. So this is um, this is what you're looking for on this list. So Jakob Clifford at Nordjylland in Norway um, is currently uh, available for £4 million and 1.4k a week so he's going to come to you in a sniff um, and if you've got any budget in your um, yeah in your transfer kitty when this email comes through it's advised that you just act on that uh, immediately don't wait for the summer because more interest will come through um, and yeah players like this will crop up uh, probably one uh, one every 50 uh, that you will, will kind of go through in this uh, in this list um, and you'll be able to put a bid in and land yourself a wonder kid 
Uh, so I'm going to go for Clifford um, because it would just be stupid not to. And uh, so he's available for four million pounds. So let's just do get that away. But I'm not going to stop there. So um, let's have a look who else we can get. So we've got someone at River Plate here, a defensive midfielder who oof, is more my liking. Um, actually has the passing and um, determination and work rate uh, as well as uh, at least 13 tackling. So for his age as well, um, it's a very strong candidate and another one that's relatively cheap. So £6 million, you're not going to get much better for that money. Um, and yeah, this uh, this will continue. So I'll step through the rest of these 50, um, probably put in bids for two or three. Um, anyone from the kind of South American uh, side of things you do have to be careful of because there are limits as to how many um, non-EU players you can have in your squad um, as particularly if you're playing in Spain and Italy um, but yeah that's that's the one watch out here otherwise it's just happy spending um, and enjoy yourself <laughs> as you go through this list because you can score some real talent for um, quite cheap probably worth noting that on the 10th of November a very similar email comes through discussing the 50 US players in the world um, however of course they are going to be older more established and far more expensive than the wonder kids so I do think that the the email that comes through on the 31st of March is a better option there um, but next up we're going to be talking about the 15th of June and that is when the league and club rankings are announced so the 15th of June every year is when you will see the European competitions ranking announced uh, and this is a very important step in the club's stature so where you have players that decide they want to move to a bigger club um, then these rankings make all the difference in that so you'll also have European competition rankings announced which means uh, different divisions can have a different uh, hold a different status um, and it's less so important when you're in the top elite for anyway um, but if you are trying to develop a club um, in a smaller division uh, across Europe or otherwise um, then these uh, announcements can make that uh, that difference in terms of the pulling power that your club will have in the summer ahead um, but yeah as you can see on the 15th of June I've been um, announced with my Valencia save uh, moving 16 places up to 38th in the overall rankings uh, now that follows uh, qualification for the Champions League, but also last year's um, Europa League success will probably have come into uh, account as well. And this means that there are only 37 teams that are above me in terms of club stature. Um, now that doesn't necessarily mean uh, that a player in any of those uh, teams that are above me will not want to come to me. However, it does mean that a large chunk of Europe now look up to Valencia and therefore players at clubs below me in these rankings are going to think that they are moving to a bigger club if I put a bid in for them. I should also add that it's not just the 15th of June where club rankings change but also the 9th of July. I've also seen emails that come through where your club's reputation will change as well and this is the star rating out of five that any given club will have. Um, and if you are on the up, if you're going from grassroots to the top division in your nation, um, it's worth paying attention to this um, because it holds a bigger merit for lots of other things other than transfers. Um, things like sponsorship, things like stadium size and expansion and potential investors as well. Um, so the reputation boost follows this email uh, on the 15th of June um, and usually comes through by the 9th of July. But the next date that we're going to be talking about is the 8th of August. Now, whether you're in your first season at your club or your multiple seasons into your save, another date to bookmark is between the 6th and the 8th of August. Uh, now, this is when you'll get an email in your inbox um, asking you to decide upon your collective bonuses for the season ahead. If at the end of last season, when the board set their initial budgets following the final competitive game of the season, that's normally when that would happen, um, if that was a disappointment to you and you didn't have a lot of money um, to spend in the transfer window, there is always this option here. Um, so you can actually lower the bonuses for the year ahead 
and you will see um, when you do that for Continental and First Division, your um, amount that you get into your transfer kitty will change accordingly. So this will have a detrimental effect, of course, on squad morale. Um, but if you are struggling and you desperately need a, a signing where you've got a vacancy in the squad, then this is going to be an option for you. The next most important date to bookmark in FM23 is the 30th of December. I've said it before and I will say it again. It truly is the most wonderful time of the year because you can go to the scouted players list, uh, you can filter for anyone whose contract expires in six months and you can pick them up in the summer at no cost to your transfer budget. Uh, you're just dealing with the wage uh, and you can negotiate this six months in advance for most nations. Um, now there are some restrictions in England, um, for example I think you need to wait to the last month to do this, um, but for most of Europe you can pick up players for free. Um, I managed to pick up Alban Lafont, my star goalkeeper, and my left back Manny Sanchez using this very method. Uh, and the rest, as they say, is history. That's good. Right, we need to save this one. Who's stepping up for Villa? Yes! Lafont! Get in! The score one is Manny Sanchez. You can write his name into the history books. Oh, yes! Champions! Now, what a, what a win that is. Check out our channel for the full video of how that final in the Europa League unfolded and indeed how we got to the final in the first place. Um, but back to the key dates that you need to bookmark. And the last one is a bit of a cheat um, by me. I have already mentioned it today. Um, but the important date to bookmark is the final competitive game of the season. Um, now, I did say this earlier, but that is when the board will set your initial budgets. So when you complete your final competitive match, whether it's a final in a cup, um, the Champions League final, which would probably be the latest of the lot, and or your league coming to completion, um, that is when your transfer kitty is reset uh, now i use that term reset because what i mean is if you've got six million pounds sitting there doing nothing um, from january onwards um, then what will happen is uh, the board will come along and they may say that your new transfer budget is only £5 million and it's a very rare occasion that this number shrinks and your club will probably need to be in financial turmoil for that to happen um, but they will not just release £5 million extra and take your total up to £11 million. Um, so my advice here is to bookmark when your last competitive match is of the season and make sure that before that time you've put in any number of bids that you need to in order to spend what's in the bank because if you don't spend you don't get any gain from that board setting the initial budgets email um, and you may actually be uh, out of pocket so to speak so keep an eye on your transfer kitty um, before the last game of the season try and get a bid in very early for the summer ahead that is all we've got time for today though guys uh, thanks very much for watching do check out the channel for more videos and we'll catch you next time adios mm -hmm.